digital transformation is accelerating. And so the demand for our connections are, are high. Now you pair that with the ability to use different kinds of technologies. So now an enterprise has available to them Wi-Fi. It now has CBRS or LTE and private 5G. So that opportunity to be able to have different technologies to be able to meet your needs for this digital transformation that every business is going through is very important. And being able to take advantage of all of those technologies is a big part of what private networks are gonna to be today and tomorrow in being able to take advantage of Wi-Fi, cellular, and other kinds of technologies that are coming down the pipe with millimeter wave and 5G. Boingo along with many others are working to complete, to simplify the way networks are installed, the way you end up managing those networks, and then the, the way you end up dealing with the changes that are happening and going to be happening as we see new technologies like 6E and, and Wi-Fi 6E and, and 5G and some new spectrums uh, becoming available uh, that people are taking advantage of with Wi-Fi 5, you know, the millimeter wave uh, capabilities, et cetera. So one of the key things when you're thinking about all this is each technology, each spectrum has a different requirement and propagation characteristics, noise characteristics, et cetera, that are going to need to be factored in as you develop, develop these networks. And so working with a partner like Boingo is gonna be more important today than it was in the past. But with that said, we're automating a lot of this. We're developing co-integration um, instead of coexistence so that a Wi-Fi network doesn't see a, an LAA network and say, oh, it's noise. It says, oh no, that's a Wi-Fi network doing work. Um, and so as we develop those co-integrations across these technologies and, and across the different use cases that we're trying to deploy, that'll allow us to really uh, not see as much of the little drops that are unexplained sometimes. We'll be able to know why that's happening. And then you pull in an expert like a Boingo and we can say, okay, we need to you know, drop the range here and increase the range there and be able to set it so that they don't interfere. You know, if you think back in the old days, you were worried that if you turned on your microwave, you'd interfere with your Wi-Fi or you'd interfere with your 900 megahertz network. And, and you know, it took some standards, it took some co-integration, it took some work together to solve those things. And that's kind of the phase we're in now where there, there needs to be a little bit of some expertise just to deal with all that. But going down the road, it will be less about those hiccups. It'll be more about how to get that best performance you can get by taking advantage of a integrator like a Boingo. I work uh, in several standards bodies. So I'm on the board of the Ongo Alliance. I'm also on the board of the WBA. And we're developing technologies like open roaming that allow roaming to happen across Wi-Fi, uh, known and unknown Wi-Fi locations. You're going to see the same thing happening in, in Ongo and CBRS with these private networks on the cellular side. So there's a joint work being done between these standards bodies to be able to take advantage of the technology uh, improvements on each type of technology and merge them together so that you don't have competing standards in, in some cases. So what I see is that we're going to see these continually alignments, but what instead of them us working towards a coexistence of these different technologies and saying, well, Wi-Fi is good for this and CBRS is good for this and, and uh, public cellular networks good for this and 5G for this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start developing a co-integrated network where all of those technologies are used together and then you're creating overlays and underlay networks that allow them to really just work together to be able to say, okay, I'm not going to have my security cameras be impacted by my uh, Wi-Fi download or my heavy downloads. And there's ways in 5G to do this with slicing, but you know that's years down the road. You know, Wi-Fi has 20 billion connected. Uh, you know, chips out there, you're going to end up seeing it around for a long time and it's going to be a very important part because it's uh, pervasive in the ecosystem. And then we're going to see some additional, um, you know, devices come out in 5G and in these other things. And that's going to end up allowing us to start taking advantage of those more readily with some of these slicing things that we're going to do down the road in that um, technology.